guys. So we know that a solid is an object with a rigid shape, meaning that if I was to change its position, the shape of the object would not change. However, what would happen if we mixed those solids with a liquid like water? Great question. Today we're going to explore a variety of different solids and we're going to explore what happens when we mix those solids with water. Okay, so in front of me I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven glasses of water and seven different solids. The first solid is sugar, then I have rice, herbs, milo, pepper, salt and dirt. And we're going to make some predictions now what we think might happen if I mix these solids with the water. Today our learning intention is to explore a variety of solids and how they react when mixed with water. Record your predictions and findings using a scrap piece of paper. As we mix our solids, I'd like you to make some predictions. Pause the video if you need to about what's going to happen when I mix the solid with the liquid. So the first solid we're going to mix is sugar. Make a prediction what's going to happen when I pour the solid into the liquid. what's happening it's dissolving we have a nice sugary drink that we can have with our lunch now mmm okay the next one we're going to tip is rice make a prediction what's going to happen when I pour the rice into the water uh oh It's just gone straight to the bottom. Nothing has happened. That one didn't work very well. Okay, herbs. Make a prediction. Are they going to sink to the bottom? Are they going to mix in? Oh, what's happened? They're floating on top. Oh, they're still floating on top. Is that what you thought would happen? Okay, next one, Milo. Mmm, that looks tasty. We might have had Milo for breakfast before, or maybe for a snack. Make a prediction. Oh, that didn't want to come off my spoon then. All right, let's give it a stir. Oh, it's mixing in a little bit, but most of it is sitting on top. Okay, now we're going to work with pepper. What's going to happen to my pepper? Make a prediction. Is it going to float? Is it going to sink? Is it going to mix together? Oops. Oh, that looks like it's floating as well. Let's give it a stir. Is it mixing in? Oh, that looks kind of cool. Look at that. Looks like dirty water. Some is sitting on top. Some is sitting at the bottom and some of it's floating in between. That one looks very cool. Okay, two to go. Let's have a look at salt. Make a prediction. Is it going to float, sink or dissolve? Let's find out. <gasps> cool, look at that. Most of it's sitting at the bottom. But what happens when I give it a stir? Ooh, it's still sitting on the bottom, just like at the beach. I think if we get if it a bit more of a stir, it might start to dissolve. Okay, some of it's dissolved and there's a little bit left on the bottom. Last one, dirt, make a prediction. What's going to happen? Let's find out. Oh, I think we might make some mud with this one. Ooh, that's a bit scratchy. Give it a stir. What have we made? We've made muddy water. Okay, have a look at that. Okay, let's take a closer look. So first we had our sugar glass. Now we're actually going to put another teaspoon of sugar just to see what dissolving looks like. So here we go. You can see the sugar. But once we give it a stir, 
you'll see that the sugar slowly starts to dissolve into the water. Until we just have a sugary water liquid. And it's all dissolved. Let's have another look at our rice. Now our rice did not dissolve, but let's give it a big stir. Let's see if we can make this rice dissolve. Nope, the rice is still sitting at the bottom of the water. It's just made our water a little bit murky. Okay, next we had our herbs. Let's have a closer look at our herbs. Now at the moment they're sitting on top. Let's give them a really big stir. Ooh, let's see what happens. They're spinning around. Are they going to dissolve? Looks like they're going to sit on the top of the water. Okay, then we had our Milo. Now, the Milo has made our water very, very murky, but let's give it a really big stir and see if we can make this Milo dissolve into the water. So the more I stir, the more the Milo seems to be dissolving. And if we look closely, all of the Milo has dissolved into the water. Now we can have a nice drink of Milo. Now for pepper, this one looks very interesting because at the moment we can see that we've got some pepper sitting on top of the water and some pepper sitting at the bottom of the water. So let's give it a big stir and see if we can get it to dissolve. Let's see what's going to happen. Looks very cool, spinning around in the water. But still I can see some pepper is going to the top of the water and some of the heavy bits of pepper are sinking to the bottom. It's just made our water very, very murky. Here's our salt. Now remember the salt started to dissolve. It was still a little bit on the bottom, but now that it's been sitting for a few minutes, and I'll give it a bit of a stir. We can see that all of our salt has dissolved into the water. So we have some delicious salty water. And the last one was dirt. Now, we thought the dirt had dissolved into the water, but if we can look closely, we can see that most of the dirt has sunk to the bottom and we have little bits that have decided to float on top. So let's give it a big stir. It's made our water very murky. Has it dissolved? What do you think is going to happen to the dirt? Okay, so now the dirt has been sitting for a few minutes. We can see that it hadn't in fact dissolved. What's happened is the dirt has decided to sit back on the bottom of the glass with those little few floating on the top. But if I give it another big stir, we stir up all the dirt and we make the water all murky again. Have a look at that. Wasn't that interesting? Were your predictions right? What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go away, choose a selection of solids, fill some glasses with water and make some predictions. Now I'd like you to have a go at some recording. So I'd like you to record what you think will happen when you mix your solids with the water. Then at the end of your experiment, you'll be able to go through and decide if your predictions were correct. Then you can discuss why you thought what you did and you can discuss what could what you could do differently next time. Okay, now it's your turn. Bye.